This post-match report is proudly brought to you by Complete Sports Management, More Footy, Less Admin and Stat Guru. When numbers matter. I'm here at a very cold, very blustery Victoria Park with Doncaster coach John Speziotis. Uh, John, a tough game after quarter time. You kept pace with Fitzroy early, but uh, they ends up kicking away in the middle there. What was your take on that? Oh, look, they, they got on top of us early in the first quarter, and we were good enough to come back late, mid to the late first quarter, and we showed a bit of, a bit of character against the side. You know, they're, they're proven and they're a quality side. Uh, Fitzroy, you know, they're, they're a powerhouse, they've been a powerhouse for a long time, so to our boys credit to hit back in that first quarter, it was really pleasing and um, they showed a lot of positive signs, which was great um, What will the main focus be for the group in training ahead of next week's home match against Banyul? Well, it doesn't get any easier, does it, with Banyul but um, our main focus will be our, our contested ball, you know, trying to win that one, one-on-one contest we pride ourselves on, on, on winning um, our one-on-one contest, and also our transition from offence to defence. You know, we've just got to get a little bit better with that. Just, um, well, like, when we've got ball in hand, we're fantastic. It's when we lose the ball in transition, we've just got to get a little bit better, get on our bikes and, and really work hard defensively, you know, get that defensive mindset into our group. Uh, it was a tough game, but it was also an important game, a milestone game for two of your players, uh, Kane and Fakri. Uh, what can you tell us about those two players and sort of their uh, place in the Doncaster team? <coughs> well, both, both, both boys have been with the... Um, with the group now for five and six years, uh, and they've come in through through I think under tens. Like I'm new to the to the group, but um, you know, and, and it's pleasing for them both to play 100 games, and and they both played quite well I thought on their 100th game celebration. So it was, no, it was good. Uh, are there any other players you'd like to highlight for their performances today? Oh look, I don't like doing individual performances, but there was a standout for us, and that was Kai Kearns. You know, from a rugby background, and to play a four quarter game the way he did today was just so pleasing and and great looking forward. All right, thanks, John. Uh, that's all we've got here today at Victoria Park. We hope to see you for our future games. But for now, goodbye. Hello and welcome. I'm Ahmed Abouid from Complete Sports Management. We're at Victoria Park where Fitzroy has just taken on Doncaster Cats. I'm with the coach of Fitzroy, Robbie McKenzie. And um, you came away with the, uh, your second win in two games. How are you feeling about that, coach? Yeah, really pleased. Um, we, we really did rate. Uh, Doncaster. Um, I know they've come up from uh, Division Three, but um, we were well aware that they're um, and they were premiers in Division Three. But um, we were well aware that they were a very good team, and they showed today that a very well drilled team. So, uh, coach, in the first quarter, uh, you ended the quarter tied. Uh, what, what message did you give to the boys at quarter time? Um to have them come out firing in quarter two? Yeah, once again, I think we got a goal at the end. Uh, we started off really well, uh, really pleasing with that, and then we sort of dropped off, and uh, I think maybe a little bit of nerves from Doncaster at the beginning. Um, once they sort of found their um, their mojo, they really went well in the second half. We dropped off. I think we got a goal at the end again, which sort of, uh, you know, once again, like last week, we were able to stop their momentum. Um, yeah, we, we sort of uh, had a go at the guys and just sort of said, look, um, it's game on. Um, you cannot treat any team lightly, so uh, uh, Doncaster really uh, showed us up that quarter, the second half. Yep, um, and up forward you've got a big size advantage over the over the boys of Doncaster and uh, much of the league. Uh, do you try to use that to your advantage a lot? Yeah, we're, we've been fortunate. We've lost uh, a couple of big guys uh, through the ruck and the back line, but um, hopefully they'll be coming back soon. But uh, yeah, we had a uh, we were able to have a three pronged uh, forward line today, and uh, they stayed out of each other's way, moved well, and yes, they did cause a bit of havoc. So uh, we had uh, multiple options, so mm-hmm. it was good. Yep, and uh, just number seventeen too. He had a ripper game today, three goals. Just anything to say about him? Yeah, worked really hard. So uh, we love his work ethic. Um, yes, he's come a lot, uh, come across from Parkside, but uh, his midfield work has been fantastic. And more importantly, his defensive work has really been a highlight. So we're really pleased with his efforts so far. Beautiful. Uh, congratulations, Coach. Uh, second win, two games. Hopefully next week we win another one. Thank you. Thank you. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.